What's up guys, welcome back to FDMX Fitness, your go-to place for at-home workouts. I'm Coach Tim and we're here to unbox and review the Gorilla Bow. You got your home gym, you wanna add some equipment, we're gonna unbox one. After we unbox and take a look at it, I've never seen it before, I have high hopes for it. We're gonna take it in the garage, train with it, mess around with it, and we'll see what we think. They have several different options with different packages. The one that we're gonna unbox here today is supposed to be the travel one that you can take apart. The uh, box, our packaging is nice. Like you see their logo here. There we go. Hmm, it's nice and solid. So comes in three different sections. We're gonna put this together in a second. Like a traveling case and some instructions. All right, so that's how it works. So in this box is just the bow and then this came separately with it. It came on the same day. So it said with shipping that it would come separately, but it came together. And that's one thing I will note. The shipping was fast. Ordered it and got it like in two or three days. Okay, we're in California. So these are the bands here. We'll go ahead and open this too. We have some paperwork, probably the instructions, safety. So like I said, there's different packages. And what that means is they have, um, well, first of all, you can order one bow that's just one solid piece. And this thing, this thing seems like it's gonna be pretty big. So I wanted to get the one that I could take apart and travel just in case. It was more expensive than the one that was just all one piece. Then they have levels of bands. So they have like the basic, I think, the heavy, and then the ultra or something. This is the ultra. So we were at 320, about 320 for the, the bow and the bands. We have different bands. There we go, okay. I knew I was missing something. So there's some bands in here too. In this traveling case. It's like, I'm missing some stuff. So they give you a traveling pouch here. I guess just put your bands in. So in our package, we got, yeah, you have this bag here and several different bands. I've never seen these before, so we'll put them on and try it. We also have this sleeve that should go around the bands. There's another sleeve. Maybe this is a sleeve. We have two sleeves. We have to break this down and figure it out, so. You got plenty of bands. Let's go ahead and see what this thing looks like. This thing is heavy, heavy duty. It is solid. So I don't see this thing ever getting a dent or breaking, that's for sure. All right, so let's go ahead and put it together. It just slides together. This thing is definitely heavier than I thought it would be. So it just snaps together. Large and in charge. So I could tell from the pictures online that it would be big. So if you don't want to get the one that breaks apart, you can kind of tell this thing is going to be kind of a pain to travel with if you get the one that's just one solid piece. If you don't, if you don't plan on traveling or going anywhere and you have a place to hang this thing on your wall, then I think it will be fine. This thing can't even fit on the table, it's so big. So the bands are e actually easy to kind of get on. Thought it would be hard to put on. And we're gonna take it in the garage and work out with it. I'm just totally messing around here. We're gonna go ahead and take all these bands and take this thing in the garage. All right guys, here we are in the studio with the Gorilla Bow. Gonna take it out for a test drive, actually. I actually used it in my workout earlier, just so I can become more familiar with it. And it was good, because in my initial impression, I was like, it's all right. But the more and more I used it, 
I liked it more. So I was like, okay, let me go ahead and I changed my my mind or my opinion of this thing. So let's go ahead and put it together and mess around with it. So you got these two heavier bands and these, this is the heaviest band, 90 pounds. So this one, you gotta be kind of careful to put on. And it says each claw can hold two. So you can put four bands. So you can start layering them up. So for the press, and I tried it with two bands, it feels pretty good. So with the press, it's a little short bands, good for a press, probably also good for a row. I tried also hitting the press from a bench just to kind of keep that band in place. I like that more. I have probably have to use both bands, maybe even a third one, if you really wanted to work chess. And then I was like, okay, how do I get back? So from the floor, you can take it, put your feet there and pull. So it's got a good solid row. I like the row, so I'm working chest, I'm working back. And then throughout my workout today, I was just messing around with various bands. At first I was like, I don't like it. It's like, what's this little spaghetti string for? But what it does is it gives you more of a stretch. So for like curls or something, you would use like two of them. So maybe you put this little yellow thing on here. At first I was just like, why does this even exist? But if I use the yellow and the red, and it says on each tube what the pounds of pressure, this says 20 pounds or, and they give you a little card that says which is which. So I think that, hold on, so I was doing some curls. So you can't curl with this heavy band. It's not long enough. This thing about tubes, they don't go that far. Like, so what I was doing earlier too, was playing with my braided bands. So usually I know braided bands. I even put these on there with squatting with it, which actually feel pretty good. So I actually just ordered some braided bands that I could use with this thing too. One cool thing about this way, this, uh, the claw, I guess they call it the claw, it holds these bands in. There's nothing else that we can get a hold of that can hold bands like this. So that's the one advantage this thing has, the way it can hold bands. So then I was doing some curls. So, and the cool thing, if you think about it, you could just use both bands together. And I put this little sleeve around the bar. I'm not sure if this even goes here, but I like how it was sliding from my curls. So that's a kind of a cool thing. I mean, at first I was like, so if you have different people, different clients who have to take the band off, no, you just tell them like, hey, you can use, put your foot on top of the red or red and yellow, right? To kind of throttle that resistance quickly because you don't have to be messing around, taking off bands. So I was doing some front pulls, even front raises and it's giving me drag. I liked it. So I was doing curls. The press is pretty good. Probably wouldn't do much of that press. I like the row from the floor, busting out those curls, but this is what I like the most about this thing. I was also squatting. So you can squat. Let's see how that spells again. So I had the yellow and the red. Probably had to use the green too. So I keep the bar in the front. I was trying to put the bar behind me, but it was hard to get in it. So from a front squat, it's good. Probably can use the yellow, the red, and the green, change it around. But then I was like, what happens if we do a deadlift on this thing? And guys, you gotta work glutes and hamstrings, but girls are gonna love this. Watch, so I probably could use this one right here. <clears throat> yeah, so, if deadlifts and glutes, hamstrings are your jam, I never felt it like that before. So I was gonna be able to go faster. And at the top of the rep, I was able to squeeze the glutes and activate it because the bands are constantly pulling on you. Then I was like, okay, check this out. What if you got a bench? I just put my feet on top back like this. And I was like, could I put it on top? And that's where this pad kind of came in. It gave me the idea. And I was doing these hip raises, a little bit heavier, you can hold and really get that tension on the hamstrings and glutes. So that alone, I mean, for I know it for a fact, for classes and one-on-ones, I'll be doing deadlifts and hip raises with this. Then I was like, oh yeah, 
you got something like this, you can add one of these to it for a, you know, a pad. I put that on, I was doing the hip raises with that. That was cool. And I was also like, what if I use my other bands? Now, these are have handles, but they make braided bands that don't have handles. So now you're like, I gotta buy more bands. You don't have to. See, so I put that on. I see that the braided band, it gives more. So I was, what if I squat up with this? <clears throat> that feels good too. I was doing some rows too. I like it off like that. You can do that, a little bit heavier. Probably had the green on. So after working out with it, I like it more. I'm gonna give this piece of equipment a solid eight. The bar is never gonna break. I wish they would have included some braided bands also. And I think that all of them should be able to be broken apart because if this is just one solid piece, I mean, where are you gonna put this thing? I mean, even without the bands, I mean, it's just, it's just too big. You can put it in your trunk in the back seat of your car to take up the whole back seat. That's why I'm glad I got the one that comes apart. If you have the space one to hang on a wall, I guess that'd be fine. You can just get the solid, solid one. The sleeve is nice, they include. It's a little pricey, I'm not gonna lie. If they gave me more bands, this little sheet says, I mean, they have all the different colors. I mean, I got a yellow, I got the red. There's supposed to be a blue one that's 32 pounds, a light blue, and then a dark blue that's 60 pounds. Yeah, see, I'm gonna want all of them. So they should have just gave me all the color bands. Instead of trying to make different packages, yeah, they should give you one of every color. So overall, I do like this. I've always liked bands. I knew I would like this. I'd definitely recommend it and give it a solid eight. If you have any questions about this or if you're gonna buy one, let us know in the comments which uh, Gorilla Bow you're going to buy or you have, if you like it, if you don't like it, leave it in the comments. Love all you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Get it, got it, get that. <laughs>